Yesterday, I brought you the first of the two new lifts linking up Sanj Vela Valle with Sanj Vela Ban further up the hill. Today, it's the turn of the big one, La Berlin Gondola. So as I mentioned in my previous video, which you can find up here somewhere, this is the final link in the chain which makes Chamonix and Saint Gervais properly interlinked ski area. Before now, there was this missing link between the train station down in the Faye and the bottom of the gondola at the Vetex. You get on the train with your ski pass from Chamonix down to the Faye for free. And of course, if you've got the unlimited ski pass, you can ski in Saint Gervais with your lift pass for free. But there was no sensible way of getting up. There was a bus link, but it was infrequent and terrible. But now, finally, that's all changed. So this new gondola runs right from the car park of the train station in the Faye, so like a 30 second walk off of the train, into the lift station of the gondola at the Betex. Indeed, they're building a new gondola up from the bottom of the Betex as well, which that's not finished yet. But yeah, you're basically able to get straight off the train, hop onto the gondola, and then from there, on the Faye, you can go all the way up to the top of saint Gervais and ski in Evasion Mont Blanc to your heart's content and come back down at the end of the day. But not only is it the missing link in the chain of the ski infrastructure here, but it's also a super scenic lift ride in its own right, passing over the gorge of the Parc Thermal here. So we've got the thermal spa down there in the Parkland, with the gorge up that way. So yeah, pretty stunning view considering what we're down at the bottom of the valley basically. The lift isn't formally open yet. Its inauguration is actually this coming Friday, the 6th of September, but it's actually been open from Monday, the 2nd of September, because it's back to school now. And part of the reason for building this lift, as well as for the ski infrastructure, of course, is it's a means of the school kids getting to and from San Gervais and the Valle, because there's a big college in the Valle. You're actually able to ride on it now, even though technically it's not open yet. As you can see, they completely rebuilt the lift station here at the bottom of the Betex and it's still very much a work in progress. The next segment, the Alpan, that's due to open the start of this ski season basically, December 2024, although still a lot of work to go so we shall see if it's actually finished or not. But yeah, second, the lower segment, the Vedin, is open and run, up and running now. There have been a lot of discussion and uncertainty as to whether it be valid with a Mont Blanc Unlimited lift pass or whether you need some kind of new pass. I can confirm. My, ski set, my annual ski pass worked for me to get up here at the very least. Indeed, it worked with the Chamonix version of my pass as well. One of the many bizarre things about the company de Mont Blanc is you need a different lift pass for saint Gervais and for Chamonix, even though it's the same lift area. So my Chamonix lift pass works in Cormier and Verbier, but not saint Gervais. Go figure. But I only had my Chamonix pass with me today and it worked. So I guess I'll have to find out another day if it works with my saint Gervais pass or not. Otherwise that could be very, very annoying. As I've already mentioned, part of the justification for the building of the new lift is to help with the school run. And as such, it's open nice and early and closes nice and late. So from 7am to 8.30pm, seven days a week, presumably all year round as well, barring the odd week here and there for maintenance. So it's not quite open as long as the Essentia in the part of the Mall, but still not bad for a ski lift really, seeing that most lifts in the Chamonix area close like 4 or 5pm. So yeah, you'll still be able to come up here for a beer and get back down before the lift finishes. And of course, it's a boost of potential for a nice apro ski in Saint Gervais as well, as you'll have time to walk across the bridge into town, get a beer and come back, or indeed head down the Essentia if you want more than one beer. For those who don't have a lift pass of any kind, which can't be many people to be honest, it's 250 each way, or you can buy a multi-pass for I think 12 single trips to be used any time within the year, or indeed multi-day pass, so a seven day pass or a month pass or an annual pass I think. But to be honest, there can't be many people wanting to use the lift who don't have either Mont Blanc Unlimited or Evasion Mont Blanc Cliff Pass. And if you don't, given that the Ascensor is free, why would you pay to use this? But there we are. 
One of the criticisms about any new lifting research shown in a ski area really is the environmental impact of the deforestation etc required to build a new lift. But thankfully here they cut that to an absolute minimum. With this massive span here across the gorge, obviously there is no deforestation because it's during midair. And on the lower segment a bit further down, they followed the line of an existing pipeline, which again has already been deforested there, and then it follows the road as well. So yeah, the effects of this environmentally speaking are fairly minimal and of course the positives of getting people up and down the valley without needing to drive are pretty massive so yeah all in all it's a good thing and there we have it the Valine Sans Gervais and Chamonix new ski lift link all we need now is a good winter so we can actually make it worthwhile skiing in Sans Gervais because the last two years there's been no snow <laughs>